Hey, it's Jamie again, Assistant Safety Officer here at Rational Acoustics. Um, I want to talk to you about averaging. Now, when you run smart, it's going to run, it's running at 24 measurements a second. So it's just, it's taking a chunk of data, processing through the FFTs, showing you that data, putting it into the averagers if we're using them. Now, averagers, what we're going to do, instead of just looking at the instantaneous, the individual measurements, what we're going to do is we're going to take multiple measurements and average them together. Why do we do this? We do this to get an idea of the average content or the overall content over time, the steady state um, content of a signal. Now, if I open up the averager, it shows me a list of different types of averagers. I have 2, 4, 8, 16. Those are what are known as FIFO averagers, first in, first out averagers. What the, those buffers, they're also called circular buffers, what they do is they retain the last X number of measurements at, at, that you've done. So I'll show you a FIFO averager, I'll do a 16 FIFO. So what's going to happen is that it's going to retain the, last, the, the data for the last 16 measurements. When I get to the 17th measurement, that newest measurement is going to overwrite the oldest. And I think it's easier to see it in the data. I'll clap my hands. You see the data is there, then you can see it fall it out of the averager. Okay, so it gives you kind of a herky-jerky response, although um, this is a, a good type of averaging to start off a, a transfer function. It's not really what you want for RTA. A lot of us want something that looks like integrators. Basically, the newer data comes in, the older data kind of decays out of the averager. Um, so everything below these first four are what we call... Uh, integrating averagers and what we're going to see is everything from one second down to 10 seconds and then we have a couple space special cases down here like here's fast fast is a little bit under one second um, integration and you can see when the data comes in and then the data averages itself out and if I go into slow um, that you can see it decays out a little bit slower Okay, so the reason why they're called fast and slow is just because they're they're pegged to the fast and slow integration on a uh, on an SPL meter. If we did integration for one second, one second again has the same type of behavior. Whereas when you look at ten seconds, it just holds onto the signal for a long, long time, and it just sits there and adds up all that signal. Um, there's one final guy that I skipped over and that was infinite and what infinite does is what you would expect it's just an infinitely long average it nothing really decays out of the averager it just slowly builds up you probably use this for looking at the signal content over time so that's our that's our averages you're gonna see that um, we're gonna use different levels of averaging in smart for different purposes in RTA, I tend to use either none so I can see the instantaneous measurement or maybe the fast averager. Um, I will be using none for probably the rest of the measurements that I do here. When we get into transfer function where I'm trying to reject noise and, and uncorrelated signal, um, what I'm going to do is probably run up in around three seconds worth of averaging. Um, the higher the amount of averaging, the the more we're going to reject noise in our measurements. We'll talk about that later.